Hey everyone, how are you doing? Is the sun shining? Are the birds burping? I mean, the birds chirping? Uh, hopefully, you're having a great day, just like I'm having a great day. So, what I want to talk about in this video is microphone sensitivity. Microphone sensitivity. Microphones have a sensitivity to them, and we can actually calculate their sensitivity to figure out how much electrical power these microphones are going to give us. Now, you might be thinking, Chuck, that's all fine and cool. You know some really cool equations, but why would I need to know the electrical power that comes out of this microphone? When you say electrical power, do you really mean like, like juice, like voltage? Yes, I do. When I talk into this microphone, it actually generates, well, not this microphone, but when I talk into a dynamic microphone, it generates a tiny electrical charge. It has a coil of wire with a magnet moving around a little bit, generating some electrical charge. Now, depending on my environment, depending on my situation, on uh, it, what type of content I'm putting into that microphone, I can figure out how much gain I need to give that microphone uh, on my console. I can figure out if I have the right microphone for the task. Uh, I, and I've seen this before where people get the wrong microphone for the task and they're trying to juice it up and they don't get enough gain and you never get up to zero dBU and that's just bad juju. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure your microphone is right for the environment for the task. Um, so we could do a microphone sensitivity equation and see if we're going to have enough gain on our mixer if we're going to have any headroom there, if the microphone's going to suit us right. So before we even buy a microphone, we say, hey, this microphone is really good. I saw him using it at the club the other day. The guys were singing into it. I think we should put that on the lectern. Well, let's do an equation to see if that's going to work. So on my equation, first thing I have is level at the microphone. How much audio, how much sound pressure level is that microphone going to get? Now, I know my voice hole is between 66 and 70 dB SPL, just normal conversational tone. We're sitting here chatting, I'm talking. You kick off one meter with your, t with your adjustable meter stick and put an SPL meter and do an average about there. It's going to be between 66 and 70, 66 and 70 at my voice hole. I'm conservative. I'm going to go 66 on the lower side. So 66 on my voice hole at one meter. So most of the time, People don't have their, I can't even get a meter, their microphone's a meter away. They have them closer. So if this microphone, one meter away, 66 dB, if I half that distance to half a meter using the inverse square law, video for another day. Ooh, that's a good video for another day. Inverse square law, half the distance, I increase my gain by 6 dB. Very important. Half the distance plus 6 dB. So from one meter to half a meter, that goes from 66. Now the microphone's receiving 72. It's receiving 66 out here, 72 halfway in between. So now I'm at a half meter. At a quarter meter, about 10 inches, right? About 10 inches. I'm going to get six more dB. So from a half meter, I get 72. I move it to a quarter meter, around about 10 inches. I just went up to 78 dB that this microphone's getting. If I go to five inches, that's another six dB. Yeah, so 66 at one, 72 at a half, 78 at a quarter. How many, how many? 84, 84 dB at an eighth of a meter, at an eighth of a meter or about five inches. So if I set my microphone five inches away, roughly 84 dB. So. Level at the microphone, I'm going to count this as 84 dB. 84 dB, level at the microphone. Microphone reference level in the number two bubble here. That's going to be taken off of my spec sheet for my microphone. So I have a little spec sheet for microphone here. And my spec sheet says this, mic this particular microphone is going to give me uh, negative 54.5 dBV per pascal. Now, a pascal is a measurement of pressure. Where else do we measure pressure? Sound pressure is a measurement of pressure. One pascal is going to equal 94 dB SPL. 
one Pascal is 94 dB SPL. So if we measured this microphone and I put a Pascal into it, I put 94 dB into it, it's going to give me negative 54.5 dBV. I could do a quick logarithm, but that's a video for another day. So just take that, you know, with a grain of salt. So negative 54.5 dBV. So microphone level, negative 54.5 dBV at one Pascal. Or excuse me, uh, reference level is at 94 dB SPL. Microphone sensitivity, negative 54.5 dBV. So 84, level at microphone, minus reference level, 94. I've got negative 10 plus Microphone sensitivity, sensitivity, negative 54.5. So 84, negative 94 is negative 10, plus negative 54.5 is negative 64.5. Now I have to do a dBV to dBU conversion. It's a different measurement, dBV to dBU. The difference between dBV and dBU is 2.2 dB. If I'm going from dBV to dBU, I have to add 2.2. If I'm going from dBU to dBV, I have to subtract 2.2. It's an easy equation. It's just 20 log 1 divided by 0.775. 1 is the reference level for dBV. 0.775 is the reference level for dBU. I can show that to you real quick. 20 log 1 divided by 0.775, 2.2. So I add 2.2. So I have 84 minus 94 gives me negative 10 plus negative 54.5 is 64.5, negative 64.5, negative 64.5 plus 2.2. See what I'm doing there? Can you all see that? Oh, 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 hold on. Boom. Negative 62.3. Negative 62.3 dB. U. Negative 62.3 dB. U. The output level I require at my mixer. What do I want to get that microphone up to? What am I trying to get it up to? In my case, I balance with unity gain. So I want everything at a zero dB U level. If you're confused about what that means, I have another whole other video on balancing audio systems. Talks about how to get up to zero, how to make sure your mixer is at zero dBU, et cetera, et cetera. You can check that out on the Avixa Learning Channel, balancing audio systems. So I want zero dBU output level required, and it's going to tell me how much preamp gain I need. My mouth hole level, 84 dB. Reference level, 94 dB. Output negative reference leaves me negative 10 dB. Add in the negative 54.5 dBV. Now I have negative 64.5. I add my 2.2 for my dBV to dBU conversion. I get negative 62.3. Output level required is zero dB, so I don't have to put anything in there. So preamp gain required. I need to go from negative 62.3 to zero. So I need 62.3 dB of gain. Now I know on the sheet here, it's gonna come out negative 62.3 and it says output gain required. Just realize that it's your microphone at the end is gonna be negative 62.3 below zero. So you have to give it 62.3 uh, dB of gain. Now. You're like, wow, Chuck, that's a big equation. What, what am I going to need that for? Well, I look at my mixer specs, and most mixers have about 60 dB of gain to get them up to 0 dB. So on my mixer, if I give it 60 dB of gain, I'm still going to be about 2.3 shy. That might be okay. You know, speech is kind of dynamic if it's for talking. But say this microphone wasn't 5 inches from my face. Right now I'm at an eighth of a meter. If this was on a lectern where I'm about a quarter meter away, I just lost 12 dB. Oh, 62.3, negative 12 more. 
at 75.3 dB of gain. So even if I juice that knob all the way up, all 60 dB of gain on my mixer, on my preamp, I'm still gonna be about 12 dB shy. That might not be good for my signal. So I might need another microphone, something with the sensitivity of a lot less. When I say less, instead of negative 54, maybe negative 35. Wow, that's a 20 dB gain right there. And if you look at most mics like goosenecks that are supposed to be on, on lecterns, they have a sensitivity of like negative 35, negative 30. Whereas handheld microphones, good old dynamic, dynamic microphones, good old dynamic microphones, they're gonna have that negative 54.5 because this is what happens. I talk about content and I talk about being able to use the right microphone for the job. Now, can you, can you hold that right there within the view of everybody? All right, so I'm about one meter away talking a normal conversational tone. I can't see the measurement. What's the measurement there? Check 72. Them. About 72, I'm a little loud. Uh, so normal speech is like this, but this isn't what's happening when I'm on stage. When I'm on stage and I'm a lead singer for the band, da! I got a lot higher measurement there. So if that microphone is really sensitive, it's really going to pick up that loud, that loud uh, sound pressure and give me a lot of voltage. I might not need that. I might need a microphone that has less voltage or something that's meant to be up in my grill like this microphone here that has a negative 54.5 dBV. Another thing I just did is I just measured my mouth hole. One of the things I like to do sometimes with my bands, if I don't know the lead singer, I come up and I just hold this, literally say, hey, can you sing me a bit? And I hold that right in front of his microphone, his or her microphone, and I have them sing, and I take a pressure level me reading. Then I know what my microphone is. I go back, throw my pressure level, uh, that I just measured there. I know my microphone level is negative, uh, or is uh, 94 dB SPL, one Pascal. Put my sensitivity in, figure out how much gain I'm gonna need. Boop, 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 boop. Now, the real benefit is I'm not at a console anymore. I'm sitting down programming a DSP. I know this DSP is going to be at a lectern, uh, a microphone at a lectern, so for this channel, I'm gonna do it. I could pull up that sensitivity, figure out how far, do a quick guesstimation, figure out how much sound pressure that microphone's gonna get. And before I buy the DSP, before it comes into the shop, I could set up the entire DSP file with a good guesstimation because I used an equation before anything gets in. Then when I go plug it in, I'm not gonna get any feedback. I can make a couple adjustments, quick, fast, easy, efficient, and if you get really good with the microphones, if you use the same microphones over and over like I do, you get to kind of know the microphone. I know that microphone is going to be negative 54.5 dBV. I know if I have speech, I have to get it up in the grill. I know if I have a lead singer, I'm going to have to take it down a little bit. I only add like 20 or 30 dB again because they pump into it. I know if I have a lectern microphone that's negative 35 dB, I could back it off a little, back it off a little. If I need to get a little bit more gain, I just send it forward a little. But these are the things I can figure out through math, through my equations. So, in summary, wrap it up. Level that microphone, what's my mouth hole gonna give me? Average 66 to 70, talking level at one meter. Now you do have soft talkers sometimes. You do have loud talkers sometimes. Just gotta figure it out a little bit, give a little bit of headroom. Maybe take that measurement with your device. I have that one meter away, 72 dB, or what I was doing, if you have a loud talker, cool. Dial it back a bit. Uh, microphone level, microphone reference level, 94 dB, one Pascal. 94 dB, one Pascal. Microphone sensitivity, that's gonna be on that microphone spec sheet. You're gonna see something that says, um, sensitivity, this says at 1,000 hertz, at 1,000 hertz. So they put a 1K tone through at one Pascal and, and measured it. And that, I mean, you can be that far away as long as it's 94 dB. If I kick it back this far, sound loses with distance, right? 6 dB every time I double. So I have to have it really loud to get 94 here. Or I just put it up here and go boop. Um, 
Microphone sensitivity, negative, negative sum number dBV. Negative sum number dBV. The amount of voltage it puts out is very, very low. Reference level, level for dBV is one volt. So it's gonna be less, a lot less than a volt. So figure out what that sensitivity is. Look in the microphone spec sheet. DBV to DBU conversion. Now that's 2.2 constantly, always. If I'm going from DBV to DBU, I use that 20 log equation. 20 log one divided by 0.775 gives us 2.21 DBV. That's that difference. So going from DBV to DBU, 2.21. Going from DBU to DBV, negative 2.21. Output level required. Now for me, unity gain, I go at zero. Some people use optimization, the optimization gain. They optimize their systems a little bit higher, squeeze the most they can out of their preamp. That's good for them. If you're putting in plus 10, put that as plus 10. Kick that up 10 more dB. If you're going at zero, use zero. Keep it at zero. And then that's that output level you get, output level required. Now you know, is this mic good for this task? It, do I need a different microphone? Do I have enough gain on my mixer? You can check your mixer specs for input gain. Uh, usually it's about 60 dB, 0 to 60 dB, or sometimes they'll say like plus 38, negative 22, so it's at a, kind of this is a uh, no gain, and if you have something loud coming in, you can dial it back if it's a piece of program uh, audio equipment. Uh, commercial program audio equipment that comes in hot, you can dial it back 10 dB or 4 dB or whatever you need to. If it's a microphone that needs a lot more gain, you can kick more on it. However much gain you have, hopefully you have a little mic and line switch too. So, um, that in a nutshell is microphone sensitivity. I'm going to put some graphics up and I'm going to put this little thing up. You can freeze frame it on that. Take a screenshot. You can keep that piece of Print it out on a piece of paper. I actually have one next to my desk and I just write on that till you get comfortable with your microphones. And then once you know it, you know it. Using an equation lets you be consistent, lets you have a quantifiable result that you can go back to every single time. And that's what we really want in our AV system designs and setup is something quantifiable we can grab onto and do it the same over and over and over again. Thanks for watching and check us out on Avixa Learning on YouTube.